Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. How many times you have been in a situation where simple conversation leads to a disastrous situation? Important personal and organizational time is lost in these endless and inconclusive debates. Have you ever thought why does it happen? When leaders become barriers, organizations become victims. In this video, I'm going to talk about the issues related to fixed mindset and how can we overcome them. Fixed mindset is a background music and is very common in our relationship at modern workplaces. We want others to tell us what we want to hear rather than what we should hear. We are generally in an either or situation with no room for others viewpoints. So by doing this, we lock our horns, our minds are grooved and we are held hostages in these grooves. These grooves become canons in our conversations and these conversations become counterproductive. As we all know, a picture is worth a thousand words and an object is worth a thousand pictures. Here is an object. It was a shoe box. It is no longer a shoe box. We have turned this box into a value box, a freedom box. This box is being used to explain the importance of coexistence of multiple perceptions at the same time. The box has four sides, all colored differently. If two people sitting on the opposite sides of the table start arguing that the color of the box is what they see and expect or force others to believe what they say, there shall be no consensus. This judgmental thinking shall only create scars and deepens the already existing grooves. This is connected to how our brains are wired and have evolved. When we feel threatened, our amygdalas become active. The executive functioning of the brain is shut down and the body defenses, both physical and psychological, they become highly alert. We lose sight of the situation. We start discussing people instead of the subject matter. So the question is, is there a way out or can we get out of it? Can we ungroove our minds? The answer is simple. Yes, this is possible. We can do it. What we should do it, we have to stop making judgments and start making movements. Instead of staying on the opposite sides of the table and opinionizing about each other, we should take a few steps and see the same color what others see. We see what others see. What hepatitis is to liver, opinionitis is to mind. We can change our vocabulary a bit. Opinions become trenches in conversations. We may use softer words such as viewpoints. Opinions do not change easily. Viewpoints can change when we change our positions. Every leader in every organization, big or small, needs to have something like this. This shoe box, now a value box or freedom box, or something like this on their table. This shall improve their ability to accommodate and value others and lead them in a better way. Stay tuned for more stuff on business, entrepreneurship, personal and organizational empowerment. Thank you.